Hi friends, welcome to Nessa's Nook. So any of you guys have been watching me for a while know that I have a huge fear of um, making pie crust. Well, on my list of the food that we were supposed to cook, but since I've been on vacation, I've been naughty. And we've not been um, cooking at home as much as I should be. Anyways, one of the meals that was pre-planned on my list was homemade pot pies. Now, granted, I can make it with um, like some Bizquick or I can go up to the store and Mark would have to open up the container because, you know, I'm afraid of those two. Anyways, um, so my sister, Chris, over at Seagirl Homestead, um, she was watching uh, the Little Village Homestead. I think that's right. Anyways, so she was watching her and she talks to her off, you know, YouTube and everything. And she made some in her KitchenAid stand mixer so I don't know how well this is going to go it's it's very scary for me you may not even <laughs> see this video but I don't know how many this is going to make because my pie pans are smaller than my sister's and um I don't know for sure how well this is gonna this is gonna really go so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna be making up the dough real quick and um, show you how that's gonna work. Now, to me, when I when I watch it, I'm like, oh my gosh, how can that little bit of water do that? I just, it just, it just boggles my mind. I just, I can't believe it. So I'm gonna bring you over here. I have my 13 cup um, KitchenAid out here, okay? Because what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna make a double batch. Now, I don't know for sure if I am going to go ahead and um, make just a couple of the pot pies, and I'm going to try, Mark and I will try to make maybe a cherry pie together. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. So normally you need two and a half cups of flour. So I'm going to need five cups of flour. I really hope this really works out, you guys. Two... Four. Because if this works out, like I said, I'm afraid of those little cans. So I don't like to buy those pie crusts from the store to begin with. And what that calls for is three quarter tablespoon of salt. However, you know, it's doubled, so it's going to be one and a half. And then. And ask for um, one tablespoon of sugar, so that's going to be two. Now, she made hers just a little bit different, and I don't know if it's going to make a big difference or not. But I wanted to mix all the mix together before I start mixing the butter. Because I got the butter in the freezer still. I'm waiting on that to, um, uh, to come out, and uh, we'll see how that's going to go. And hopefully... Um, that will pull together very quickly. So I'm gonna go ahead and pulse this real quick. Get all that stuff mixed together in there. butter very cold butter but I put the two cups and um, that's been in the freezer so I guess this works kind of like how the regular pie crust does like I said I am NOT a pie maker my husband's not a pie maker my daughter she would make homemade pies but she moved out so now I don't have that in my life okay so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and get this pulse let that go for a little bit here and um, get this butter mixed in with the flour.
Okay, you can see that's getting the, like those little um, pebbles that it becomes. Yes, I've watched a lot of pie videos. I just don't make it myself. <laughs> Now, um, what they did suggest is have ice cold water. So I have a bowl over here with ice and water in it, and I have my water measured out. So I'm just going to pour a little bit in here at a time. What you're going to be needing is a total of um, 12 tablespoons of water. I have this one that has like, this one does 10, this one does 2. So we'll see how well this works here. Little bit I spilled, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that back in. I might need a little bit more water because I did spill quite. A bit. Let me get just a smidge more water here. So I got water just like everywhere. Sometimes it depends on the day, too. Mine's not coming together like my sister's did. Like in a night. It's like the bottom's doing it really well. Well, let me see if this kind of 
will split up just a little bit. Like I said, you guys, you know, this is a learning experience for me because this is not something I can do. like no let me go ahead and get the stuff down here and I'll be right back now what my sister did is she used her tortilla maker and she did spray the parchment paper and then what she did is she said she watched a few videos where you kind of like um, wrap the put the dough over top of this and then you put it in here I guess it's easier so I'm gonna go ahead and um, grease the pan too. I really hope this works. I mean, that's a nice bunch of, um, of dough there. So try not to obviously work it too much. Put the parchment paper over. Bring this down. And squish. Oh, well, that does work. That is so super cool. Look at that, guys. That is amazing. Because you all know from my pizzas, I don't roll very well either. So my understanding is you kind of put it over top of this bowl. All right. Let me spray this one here. And... What I'll be doing is putting this one over top of this one and kind of like pressing down. And then you kind of take off that top one. Now she was using a little bit different pans than I am. I think I need to use a little bit more dough. But I'll just kind of spread this one out a little bit and then I'll put a little bit more dough on the, on the next one. Now that does work out pretty good, honestly. I mean, it's not perfect, but for me, that's very good for me. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab just a little bit more dough on this one. So this will hopefully be a little bit easier. And spray this, put this down, kind of squish it. And then squish it with a tortilla shell or a maker. All right. Then I'm going to lift this back up and put this over the pan a little bit here. Spray this pan. Push that one down and see if that was enough or do I still need to put just a little bit more dough. I think I'm going to have to still put a little bit more dough. But like I said, this is a learning curve for myself. And you guys, if you've not done it this way and have always been afraid to make pie crust like I am, I want to make my husband those like little pies. And um, so he could take those to lunch. And, um, you know, if I could figure this out, we could actually make 
some um, homemade pies for his work. I think I need to put just a little bit more, but I'm not going to keep you here for this whole thing. Um, I'll be right back because I'm going to have to make up the filling and um, I'll be back. Okay, everyone. I'm kind of nervous about this whole meal because, um, like I said, I've never made this before and I, I really hate making it stuff for the first time on film. But I'm winging it. You guys are here with me, so... I've got two cups of um, water, and what I'll be doing is make taking some of the cream, my own homemade cream of anything soup mix, and I'll be putting in a third of a cup of this and make a big mess on my stove. Let me get that off the burner before it burns and stinks really bad. All right, and then I'm going to take my little whirly gig. I kind of, you know, separate that a little bit here. And then I'm going to go ahead and stir this up. Now, I did use my boiling hot water from the sink that, you know, that little uh, faucet thing that I have that does the boiling hot water. All right. And that's nice and mixed up. And I am going to use a little bit of my onion soup mix that I make myself, too, because I think that's going to give a nice little flavor um, for the soup mix. All right. Now, this is not going to take very long to come together. And then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to have my own home canned chicken. And I'm going to have my uh, can of um, mixed vegetables. Put a little bit of salt and pepper in here. I'm going to throw a little bit of garlic in here. Because that onion soup mix has quite a bit of spices. But I'd rather have it be spicy than not. I will bring you back once this is actually um, starting to thicken. It's not going to take hardly no time at all because I did use the really hot water. I'll be right back. Oh, and while I'm waiting, I'm going to use some of my, because the, the um, mixed vegetables does not have any onions, and I love onions in my uh, chicken pot pie. And it also does not have any celery, so I'm going to use some of my freeze-dried celery. And I'm going to go ahead and get that stirred in there. As you can see, that's already starting to get super thick. And I had just turned off the film and put it back on. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave this on. You know what? It's thickening. Look at that already. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in my chicken. And then I'm going to put in my can of mixed vegetables. And this should be enough, honestly, for the two um, uh, pot pies. So I'm going to go ahead and let that thicken for a minute. I'm going to go ahead and work on the tops. And um, I'll be put, well, you know what? I could just do that right now on the, like I said, I'm, I don't know why I'm so nervous about this. <laughs> There is absolutely no reason to be this nervous about this. So I'm going to go ahead and, I mean, as you can see, that's really nice and thick. And hopefully when I put that top on, because I'll put just a little bit more uh, dough in there. And meanwhile, I did put the dough back in the refrigerator so that butter can stay cold. There still is, like I thought, I th thought there would be enough left over, but that's what it looks like. I um, could probably put just a little bit more on each. I mean, that should make a nice hearty dinner. All right, now I'll bring you over to the island. 
All right, so what I'm doing is I'm grabbing the stuff for the tops. Go ahead and put this in here. Respray this. I did put just, I said, like a little bit more because hopefully that will go down into the part that doesn't really have the sides. You can tell they had a little bit more on this because you didn't want to close. You know, I'm going to get my rolling pin out and just roll this out just a smidge so it does go over. Like I said, you guys are along for this ride, so I'm hoping this really does turn out here. So then what I'm just going to be doing is I'm going to be putting this over the top. And there's nothing to really push together because I didn't have enough for the bottom. Just a little bit more. I put this dough back in the refrigerator. And that certainly does help with the parchment paper. Well, like I said, this is not going to be 100% perfect because technically this top should have been the bottom. <laughs> but what I'm going to do is put a couple slits in here. And I am going to... I think I need a sharper knife. I am going to um, uh, put a baking sheet underneath this because as you can see it's already trying to come out. I hope this <laughs> I hope this will be a video that I can show you either way I guess to do or not to do this way. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the oven this in the oven and I'll be back. All right so we have this much pie crust left. And we bought the little smaller pie pans because it's only just Mark and I. If you want to come over here, honey. I have got him in the kitchen because you guys suggested that we make another pie together. So go ahead and bring it down here. We'll, we'll bring it back up. You just want to know he's here with me. So suggested that I guess we um, put the... Uh, Spray on there. But how much of this do you think for the bottom? About half for the bottom, I would say. I like that. Yeah. Do you want to roll it or do you want me to? Me? He wants me to make it <laughs> bad. He went out there. I don't want to break that since it's glass. Now, last time when we did that, we our pan was way bigger than we thought. I think this is too much, isn't it? Probably. Take a little bit off. Not like that? Yeah. But, I mean, if it's too thick, you can just put it over that, and then you tear off what yeah. you don't need. 
I know you're not supposed to try to touch this a lot, so I'm trying my best to not do this. Can you, um, you want to put those pot pies in the oven? Yep. So the oven just came up to temperature so we could put the pot pies in the oven. I made it too thin in the middle. Yes, both of our hands are clean. Well, that's a lot thicker on the bottom than that. Than that first first one. one we did. Wow, was that ever thin. I'm going to go ahead and uh, fork poke this just a little bit. I don't know if you're supposed to. I think you are. And you could put in that while we're messing around. So I'm going to be using a little bit less than that for the top. But like I said, you guys are along for the ride on all of this because Mark and I both are not bakers. Um, we do want to try to make more pies and, and little treats and things like that. But you all know I'm too afraid of... Make sure I didn't make that too thin. You guys know I'm afraid of those store-bought pie things. I might want to add a little more to that. Like that. In the middle? Yeah, just, you know, just roll it out. It'll blend. Good. We're probably gonna have to cut some off anyway. Well, yeah, you're gonna have to. You blend these together, and then you take off what's what's excess. Like you said, we're not professionals, so. Yeah, you did come here for professional pie making, that's for sure. I mean, hopefully we get to the point where we're a lot better at this. Put our thumbs in there like that. Wish my daughter was over here. She could really help me a lot. That's going to go in the fridge in a while. Yeah. And we'll go ahead and... Put a couple of vent holes in it. Put some holes in here. Can you put that back in the fridge for a minute? And we'll go ahead and get this in the oven once um, dinner is ready. And we'll show you both when we get all done with both. Also, I wanted to try to make these like little bites for Mark since we have a little bit of this pie filling left. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, or the pie crust, excuse me. So we're going to go ahead and push this in here and press this down. Now these are not perfect either because obviously, you know, we're not perfect. And it's got a little spot here. And we put in two cherries. <laughs> yeah, it's just little tiny bites is all it is. So a couple cherries. I'll put probably one more cherry. I'll let him do that part because he did it better than I did. Which way is it? You bring it up. Ah, okay. Can you kind of... I 
Now this was like a dollar or something off TMU, so I didn't know how well it was going to work. But it gives you <laughs> these nice little, that's about all the ones from the store is now anyways. Um, the little Hostess ones, they're like a 10 pack or whatever. Well, this is starting to look worse each time. <laughs> but we're going to use up this couple last. So he's going to have about six of these when we get done. We're going to soften my rag here. See, I used to have these like little, um, that still worked. Not really. It's coming apart. Oh, we're going to have to squish it together. Can you pull it out? Mm -mm. That's stuck in there. I think the dough's too wet. There. Yeah. We'll see, too, we'll see those, if you can't try to fix that though. I just won't. Just I won't reuse that. Yeah, the dough's just too wet. And no, this won't squish together. It's too wet. Well, that one won't be as pretty. But there's enough, I think, for two more here. Yeah. If you get any cherry in it, you can't use yeah. it. Yeah. Now I do have a bigger, um, you, oh, there. now we'll just do one more. I do have a bigger press thing like this. I did have it somewhere around the house. I don't know where it's at. I'm going to have to find it. Um, so it'll actually be smaller pies. And when we bake the pie, we'll just go ahead and um, bake these little niblets with it. Yeah, so that one came open too. It's stuck on there. I wonder what would happen if you put just a little bit of... No. Well, some of these are not going to be absolutely perfect, but we did get... Well, just um, a cheap machine, but it does work. We did get two... Let me see here. Uh, six of them. So, we're, we have the pie, we had the two pot pies, and we're going to have six of these, which is going to make a big mess, but hey, you know, it's a learning curve. So, I'll be back once everything's out of the oven. All right, well, I think these are done. Um, I guess I probably could have brushed the tops, and I really wish I would have put the thicker on the bottom and the thinner on the top, but, you know, it is what it is. Like I said, you know, you guys get me all, you know, good, bad, and ugly. So we're going to go ahead and um, uh, have this for dinner. And, yes, the, the dough feels uh, cooked and everything. And uh, just put the pie in the oven. So you'll get to see that also, and we'll be back. Okay, friends, this is the pie. I don't know how well it's going to be. However, you all know, my hair's been waving outside. You guys know we've been married for 20 years 20 in years. December. Mm -hmm. Been together for 20, 21, 21 years. Like Jack. Forever. <laughs> in a good way. But, you know, the lack of communication sometimes. So we, we had the pot pies, all right? And I'm not a big fan of a lot of crust. I didn't know he wasn't, okay? So what I did <laughs> is I made a second batch, and we made some more um, things for him to take to work. But 
what we're going to do on the next time is because that was too much crust on the top, really, honestly, for my liking. Maybe for somebody else's it wouldn't be. He didn't care for it too much being too much because he likes um, back, they had the what, the... They had the crustless. They had the bottom. The bottom part wasn't crust, but the top part was. Okay. So we're just going to do an opposite. Where I'm going to put the crust at the bottom and then put the pie filling going forward. So, um, you know, it's just like we had this conversation. I thought he liked roast. He thought I liked roast. So we were having roast, thinking that each other liked roast. We don't both really care for it. I can live without it. We both. We both can live and live without it. So, um, I guess the thing is, talk to your spouse. <laughs> I had it I had a plan. So, I mean, it's just funny. I mean, I think it's funny. You know, we, we're joking about it. We're laughing. It's not like we're mad about it. But, you know, it will save us more crust, obviously. So, it will work out. And I have those other two in the freezer. So, Mark will go and do the honors of cutting this pie going to attempt it anyway and hopefully this is good we'll be on camera for the little taste test you want to cut in eighths or fourths just the fours because that's not a very big pie it's gonna be a regular piece of pie did we put too much crust right there mm, not sure But, I mean, it's kind of funny, you know, honestly, you know, when we when we talk about these things and, you know, we make, make sure it's cut all the way through. We both think that the other person likes something and we make it just because we think the other person likes it. And I think that's just funny. That's just coming out. I'm not sure if this thing is just too big or. That might be. Well, the bottom is definitely a lot fuller <laughs> than, I need to take these couple cherries out. Those are my cherries. All right. I'll give you a little, I'll wait till Mark gets done with his and, whoops. That's what I thought. Butter knives don't usually cut very well cutting pies. All right, there's your fork. So this is our second attempt. We have tried to make one not too long ago. Go ahead, honey. Try it. Oh. Peace. See what we think. If it's any better than the first one we did. Well, if it doesn't kill us, we're okay. The crust is still a little bit thicker. It is good though. But way better. I think. No, you think better than the first mm -hmm. one we made. Well, so ten times better than the first one we made. Maybe there's hope for both of us. Right? Yep, there it is. So, thank you very much for stopping by. You guys all have a very blessed and wonderful day. And sorry about the super long Hi, video. Everyone.